I got in this altercation with this woman. Now I can't come back. Over the dog? Yes. Oh. She said, no dog. You said, I need the dog. Well, I said, I've been here so many times and it's never been a problem. And she was like, well, I'm not losing my license over it. And then I was like, well, what, what are our options? And she was like, I don't know. Did you bring a friend? And then I was no. like, I would like to cancel this appointment. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> it was a but, different woman than you usually had? Yeah. No, every time I've taken sugar there, we walk in and everyone goes, oh my God, look at her. She's so cute. Her name's Sugar. We're called Sugar and Bronze. Oh. And this lady was just there by herself being a fucking bitch. Maybe mm. she, a dog bit her when she was a child. I her. And she just feels traumatized. She's my only enemy. No, you have other enemies. <laughs> So this week we're going to be doing something we've never done before. Oh, oh my God. Are we going to go out on the streets? We've done that. We've done that. Okay. This week, Igor is asking the question and leading the discussion. Oh, that's oh. news to me. <laughs> uh, I've known that that was the case for about four seconds now. Cool. Now seven. You uh, knew I asked if you, you had did. something you wanted to talk yeah, about. Yeah, what do you want to talk about, You texted Igor. me earlier today. You've never done that before. There's never been any prep of any kind. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're going to do the one that you liked. Yes. Not the first one that Tell I liked. Tell everyone what it was. With my two ideas? Your first idea. My first idea, which I'm more passionate about. And, that, is, and this is what he wanted the topic of an entire episode to be. Is it Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> no, no, that's I your guys' topic. I'm not interested. Uh, <laughs> it's why there is no reason under any circumstances to ever press snooze, okay? And and I and I would want to talk to you guys about it. Press and I have snooze some, on your phone? The idea that you liked was, here's the big question. When you have had a hard day when you have a lot of when you're feeling bad and lots of bad stuff has happened to you today should you tell your partner everything or should you keep oh, have to go. some of it back Why? because throwing everything onto your partner does not keep the romance alive is not a cute look what just happened did we did because i trigger I you what happened yes, because i don't want to Okay, okay. I had no we idea. We can do something else. No, here's what's happening. What's going on? It's fine. Okay. So, basically, I've had this is a problem that I have that I share too much. And because people don't know my tone from texting, they think that I'm serious about everything that happened, that I that everything that happened that's been bad in the day is the same level of bad. So, I've realized that I have to put LOL at the end of stuff or oh, yeah. like you a crying very, You're face. very bad at texting. I'm very bad at texting. So I have to put like... Broke my ankle, LOL. Yeah, like a crying face or something so that people, people know, know really upset. that I'm not really upset. But I didn't think that. Like I'm just talking out loud and then I've had partners say oh my God, you had a terrible day and I'll be like, no I didn't. And they'll be like, yes, you texted me like five bad things that happened. I'll be like, Oh, as soon as I sent that, I was over it. Are you using dramatic language? Like, are you she's exaggerating? Very, she's very curt. When I when I had my ex boyfriend, um, he would say that me tech that me telling him all the bad things that happened during the day, that if I text them during the day as they're going on, it would make him feel like I was having a bad day, and it would make him it would bring him down, mm -hmm. and he and it would be like relying on him too much. Versus like if I, and then it's like, okay, but if I wait to the end of the day, perhaps I don't even bring up some of those things because I just like forgot that I got a ticket or something, or I forgot <laughs> that like, what I mean, I wouldn't forget that, but you know what I mean? And well, so I then. Think that that's the, I think that that's actually an interesting answer to Igor's question. And I think it's like, there's a time and a place. Yeah. So when it's all day unloading, then that's not good. Right. But if like you're seeing that person, you're at their house, they're like, how was your day? Like that's the Then they that's can the see time. your eyes, then they can they hear know your that tone. They can hear that you're laughing about stuff, they know you're not really upset, there's nothing There's nothing for them to fix, or they feel like they have to be fixing. But so my, my girlfriend now like had a similar thing where she was like, there's no way to tell via text what's an emergency and what's not, or like what's a disaster and what's not. Yeah. So yeah, I that, have to... Why are you making a face? Because I think I think she's wrong about that. Well, I agree. I there's parts of it that are wrong. But but she was saying that like if I am unloading on her all day or but I don't see it as unloading because some of the stuff is just like, "Oh, you'll never believe what just happened." 
but it's like I don't it's like a stupid like oh this podcast is taking forever but it's like it's a not stupid actually it's not actually you affecting me right I do have to think about spacing out who I'm talking to sometimes so I'm not just only telling Ellen all the stuff that's going on that I like tell other people too well that's a huge yeah. thing I think is that that if your partner is your only support system mm-hmm. then it is going to be too much. too much right absolutely and if, if that just happens to be the case and that's that's when you really need a therapist yes but therapist, also you also friends. need friends it's that's a lot why of pressure I try, to, I try to talk to different friends like if I feel like oh I want to text Ellen everything I go no no it's fine talk to a friend because it's like too you know I'm always real available <laughs> <laughs> one time I wasn't available because I was on a plane and you freaked out and contacted my mom oh wow yeah. oh my <laughs> god that. oh my god but isn't that nice to know that your friends think of you as being so reliable <laughs> that if you're unavailable for an hour you must be dead yeah I like yeah, what it what a dream you can't rely on your partner for everything but I used to have this thing where I would go well, then why are we even together if I can't tell you everything? I want to be able to tell you every single thing that's going on. But then my therapist always says, this is a, maybe a different thing, but my therapist is like, in a relationship, you do have a right to privacy. Like, you yes. are allowed to talk to your friends about things you don't talk to your partner about because your friends are there for a reason. So, like, she yes. was like, you do have a right to decide who knows what in your own life. I think that that's right. I think that's right because ultimately it's a romantic relationship. So that is the key to keep that alive. If that dies, and I think it can die if you rely on them as a therapist, a as mom. a pillow to cry. Yes, as yeah. a mom, as but like what a if business you partner. Sexy the whole time. That would work Pretty for cool. me. That's yeah. We've unlocked is some that kinks a new here. King? Yeah, yeah, I think we've unlocked some kinks. <laughs> sexy girl complains about traffic. <laughs> you know what? I'll do it. I also think that there's a big difference between going through a hard time and being a negative person. Mm, mm-hmm. I think. That, What's the difference? Like negative people, that's just how they view the world, and like almost all of their experiences are negative, and how they will relay things as negative. Mm-hmm. What they think is going to happen is often negative. Mm. That to me is like that will drain me out like that. Like I yeah. can't be around that. I don't want that in my life but if it's somebody who's like normally an upbeat positive person and they're going through a tough time like of course I want them to tell me what's going on and I want to be there for them but I also need to feel like they're working to get past it and not that they're wallowing in it and that like because some people do like get off on being miserable yeah Yeah, I don't know that that video would do as well hot girl gets off on being miserable (laughs) (laughs) well oh my god (laughs) tag me (laughs) it's also just shitty to be say that you never want to hear that's oh, not that's okay not a partner. yeah that's not a partner that's, that's, yes. that's a fuck buddy yeah <laughs> because that's also a pathway to intimacy mm-hmm. is sharing what's really going on for you mm-hmm. how um, have you been about doing that now that you're in a relationship i'm okay i'm better than i was before but i still feel like i was feeling bad yesterday because i like got some bad work news and when i we were facetiming and i was like I was like, no, I feel like a bummer. Like, who would want to talk to me right now? Mm-hmm. Like, I had that. And but she loves you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And wouldn't you want to talk to her if she was upset? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I know. I mean, so that's like the only thing that I kind of still struggle with is I think I'm just like the best version of me is when I'm in a good place and when I'm like happy and making jokes and mm-hmm. stuff. And so if I feel like kind of dead in my brain that I can't even think or like, Mm-hmm. be interesting then I'm like why would anyone want to talk oh, to the me? pressure to be interesting Tell I feel me that that's so hard I haven't been interesting in a few <laughs> years you can honestly just tell your partner like I feel awful you talk <laughs> like you yeah. know what I yeah. mean like almost make it like more playful and like mm-hmm. kind of make fun of yourself and just be like I'm so I I can't form words how was your day you yeah. know instead of like mm-hmm. feeling like you need to put on this facade for them because you don't but she I said feel... that for me to me I mean Oh, good. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. But sometimes because of the way that my last relationship or my 2016 relationship ended, uh, where he felt like I was telling him too many negative things or I was saying too many bad things were going on, that now I feel, I, I, I think twice before I tell anyone I'm dating like something bad that happened. I'll mm-hmm. like definitely be like, okay, is it worth texting that I just coughed really hard no probably not but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? like I try to like not say everything would you like, really text anyone so I just or I would be, really you, you tell 
your partners and stuff because you're like you you don't really contact me that much <laughs> i don't do it anymore i i used to like just be like la 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 we're in a relationship i'll update you all day and then i like after that breakup i stopped and i like won't say any i like oh. i'm a see i'm a, an enigma now i keep everything to myself <laughs> it's really like i just feel like because of that i'm like no one cares. I don't even want to say if if anything bad has happened. I feel like I'm just gonna drive people away because I like feel like I drove him away. I you? drove my 2017 relationship away because I was like too anxious and I guess too unhappy and unloading on him too much. Hmm. Yeah. And so instead of changing how I am in a relationship, I just got happier. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Then there's less stuff yeah, to there's text less him stuff about. To unload. I was like, wow, I am in a bad place. I better fix this. <laughs> yeah. For me, the biggest thing is there has to be a desire to get better, mm -hmm. to get out of it, and not just like day after day, the same complaints. That's like, I think, where it gets very tedious. You can do that to someone you're paying. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. You're sad today? I'm sad today. I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm happy. sad today. I'm also oh, sad today. You, you guys can today. tell me all about it and I won't feel burdened. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like, are we you getting off something. on it? <laughs> is, this, <laughs> is this good looking girl gets, gets off, off on, on misery? It? Are you wearing lingerie? <laughs> Igor, who's what? your enemy? Oh my God. Oh, well, I know my enemy. Her name is Star Spangler. That's okay. her real name. That's crazy. She had it legally changed, and she poisoned me when I was in oh, high school. I this. Yeah. And then uh, fed me an overdose of laxatives. I was on the toilet for four days, almost killed me, because in high school I weighed about 92 pounds, <gasps> and she gave me enough for four men. Why did she do that? She did it. As a I, prank? As a prank. Okay. She thought it would be funny. It wasn't funny. I worked okay. with her, and then she went on to win the amazing race. Uh, with her brother. <laughs> what? Won a million dollars. Can you imagine? And then got skin cancer. So I kind of felt like... I can't believe my question led to this story. Yeah. Wow. And then became a talent Dallas Cowgirls fucking cheerleader. So she survived the skin cancer? She survived it all. I barely did. I think you should let this go. 